All right, so I've been making these fat bomb things. I got them from the website ketoconnect.net. Matt and Mega host that, and I took their recipe and kind of just made it my own a little bit. Um, anyway, I'll show you what I'm doing. I bought some of this uh, organic coconut oil um, from Walmart. You can tell it's got the Great Value brand. I put uh, one half cup into a saucepan, a little tiny saucepan. I've got the temperature on five, and I use a usually a, a spatula of sorts to get it off of the thing um, and then I'll use my finger to kind of rake the rest of it in there so it all melts. What you want to do is get it to start melting to where it's clear all around. Okay you can see the oil is getting very clear and I got most of it off the uh, spatula. Um, I'm gonna make this with this ISO, ISO Pure brand cookies and cream zero carbs. If you look at the macronutrients here we got uh, zero carbohydrates and no sugar. Uh, lots of good stuff in here. I'm gonna use, since I used a half a cup of this, I'm gonna use two scoops of, two, 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 two scoops of this. I'm gonna use two scoops of this. Okay, I've put the two scoops in here and now I'm gonna use my spatula to just kind of move it around. I wanna get this stuff to mix in with the oil. I want to get it to where it's all uniform and I want it to heat up a little bit. I don't want to instantly take it off. Because you got to think this is oil and this is a uh, whey protein isolate. <clears throat> And it has to combine, and the heat helps it, that and mixing it. You can see it looks pretty uniform now. So what I do is, I got some liquid stevia. I'll take it off the label, it's not a big deal. And I'm going to go ahead and take the heat off. I'm going to go ahead and squirt it in here. The more you squirt, the sugar, the more sugary it's going to taste. Even though liquid stevia is doesn't mix with your body's hyper hyperglycemic levels, um, it just makes it have a sweet taste. Wherever you squirt it, it's going to feel like it's already sticking. So I'm going to pull this off and immediately start pouring them into my little silicon forms. And I can't do that while I hold this, so I'm going to sit you guys down. There we go. I kind of balanced you on something. So this stuff is uh, really liquidy when it's warm and if you look at Mega do it on the YouTube page that they have, she says fill these up about 80%. So you just kind of have to eyeball it here. And it kind of looks a little lumpy, that's normal. That's because of the stevia. The stevia actually makes it kind of cluster up like that. When you don't put the stevia in there, it doesn't taste as sweet. You don't have to do that, but it's just something we do. Um, but it's a lot more liquidy. It smells good. Okay, now I can use my spatula and get it all out of here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the dish water. Alright, and for me personally, I like to put some macadamia nuts in these. We've tried pecans and walnuts and almonds. And we seem to prefer the macadamia nuts over them because the, the macadamia nut has a bit more crunch to it. And it's kind of nice to have a little crunch to it. Um, these are chopped macadamias. It's made by Fisher, I guess, is the name brand. And so it's not like whole macadamia nuts. It, I haven't been able to find whole macadamia nuts except for on the internet. And then when I find them, 
they're always toasted or seasoned and I don't want them seasoned because that means it's usually adding sugar to it. Um, but I'm gonna put one and a part of one, each one of these if I can, or maybe two per, three per, just depends on how big the chunks are. And I have extras. So. All right. And I usually just like fold it up and use a paper clip to kind of hold it down. And then I'll end up putting this inside of a Ziploc bag to keep it fresh. I've also got some Hershey's sugar-free chocolate chips. And I like, for me personally, like me and my wife have talked about this, we like it with two in each one. So I just put them in the corners. And I don't bother with pushing them down or anything. They'll sink down. Gravity kind of has its effect there. Actually, the real hard trick about this is finding sugar-free chocolate chips in the store. It's one of those things where I've searched for them many times and I have such a difficult time that now, I almost feel compelled to buy extras whenever I see them just so I can give them out to friends because they're doing similar things. And I'm going to put the rest of them back in the bag. And I'm going to fold that bag up and put it in with the nuts. That way the oxygen won't mess them up. And now I've got this uh, sea salt. And all I do is just sprinkle a little bit of sea salt. Not a lot. I have messed up and put too much in there before. And then you go to eat it and you're like, oh my God, that is too salty. But just a little bit in each one. Kind of helps the flavoring. And you can do whatever you want there. You can see how they're all set up now. Now, the reason I've got a, a baking dish underneath it is because if you're picking up the silicon thing, you're gonna spill your stuff. So you wanna put it on something that you can tote around. This thing works good. And I'm just gonna sit it in the fridge so that it can cool off. I just got a shelf cleared out here. I just sit in there and they'll be done in just a little while. It's not an exact science. It doesn't need like a particular amount of time. Um, the coconut oil is what hardens when it cools off. So everything will be good in a few hours and then we'll pop them out and put them in a Tupperware dish and they're very, very tasty. So that's how we make the cookies and cream fat bombs. Thanks to Matt and Mega and the ketoconnect.net. Go check out their website. They got lots of recipes and they got YouTube links to stuff that they're making. Don't look in my pantry. We got stuff for a grandkid in here. <laughs> I swear we're doing good with the diet. Anyway, y'all take care. Thanks for watching.